by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. Amen. Good evening, dear sisters. Thank you all very much for joining in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, yes, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you all for joining. God richly bless you all in the name of Jesus. Father, it's been so good and so kind to us, giving us yet another opportunity to come before his mighty friend, to dine with him, partake of his body and his blood, and to share and to listen and to learn from him. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So, Father, we, we just want to say thank you for this time in your presence. And um, we just cover each and every one of us in the blood of Jesus. So we just had a prompting for us all to cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. And if you've got children with you, um, perhaps you're putting your little one to sleep and you just decided to log on. Just stretch your right hand, please, on your child right now in the name of Jesus or perhaps you're now showering your children before they go to bed please just stretch your hand on your child right now in the name of Jesus father wants us to plead the blood of Jesus let us be very very um serious with this in the name of Jesus yes lord we thank you and for okay father all sisters that have little ones that are unwell in the name of Jesus father says that by the stripes of Jesus Christ of Nazareth all everyone is healed in the name of Jesus but specifically for children so as you stretch your right hand over the your child right now in the name of Jesus please um father needs your your faith in the name of Jesus so Lord we thank you, Father, for this time. We just plead the precious blood of Jesus. All right. So I just felt in my spirit um, that a sister was like, how about we, the adults, please also just stretch your hand in the name of Jesus. Today's healing um, service partake in the name of Jesus. And Father, just wants us to plead the blood of Jesus over us all, especially for little ones that are unwell. But of course, receive your healing as well. So, Father, we say thank you ever so much for this time in your presence. We give you praise. We adore you. In the name of Jesus, we cover each child in the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes, Father, every child that is unwell, in the name of Jesus, conjunction, congestion, cold flu, in the name of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over these children in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes, Father, thank you that you've done it. Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus for children with eye problem, conjunctivitis, and children that wear glasses. The very, very tender age, which is a five-year-old, wearing glasses and their sight is really bad. Father is healing this child now. Five year old, five years old, in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, we use the precious blood of Jesus as eye drops unto this child right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, yes, Father, we thank you for healing. We thank you, Abba Father, Riyamahande, Kesende Riyamahanda. Thank you, Lord. There is a sister that has some um, tummy pain is around your belly button father is healing you right now in the mighty name of jesus we plead the blood of jesus yes father we plead the blood of jesus over this tummy right now and over us all here from the crowns of our head to the soles of our feet thank you jesus said yamakashata the bahanda father is healing someone with the toe your right toe it's just really numb it's numb and very tingly. We plead the blood of Jesus over that 
toe right now is the right toe in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise. We give you honor. Yes, Father. Yes, Lord, we plead the blood of Jesus over every pregnant sister. If you know anyone that is also pregnant, you can please step into this for dear sisters that are pregnant in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth by the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Yes, Lord, we plead the blood of Jesus over every sister that is pregnant now. Those that are due from any moment from now, we plead the blood of Jesus over unborn children right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Father, you heal them. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise as a sister that you do in a couple of weeks, two weeks, two weeks. You've been given due date, two weeks, and you're so anxious. Father says, do not be anxious. He's gone ahead of you and it's going to be so smooth. It's going to be so smooth and you're going to have this baby before you do date. Full time to his glory in the name of Jesus. We come against that spirit of anxiety right now in the mighty name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise. We adore you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Okay, thank you, Father. There is a toothache as well. Is the right side of your jaw is a toothache. And as the Lord reveals, it's a bit swollen. You can miss a bit swollen. Father is healing that in the name of Jesus. We plead the precious blood of Jesus over that to right now in the mighty name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, thank you, Jesus. We give you praise. We adore you, Lord. You're good. You're kind. You're wonderful. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Okay, Lord, we thank you. We give you praise for every child that the, the, the parent um you find that your child is very active um you have actually given this child like you you've self-diagnosed this child father said to be careful what you call this child because that child is made in his own image that child doesn't got any adhd Pages in the name of Jesus, in the account, in the name of Jesus Christ. And as the Father wants you to speak calm, speak life in the name of Jesus. And Father says, when you, you, you're talking to your friends, you know, especially when your friends are around you, you as the Lord reveals, you just, you see that this child just, like, they don't stay still. They're always like making up a show and you feel so embarrassed most of the time. But please, sis, don't be. Father said, be glad that your child is like that because other children can't even speak. But, okay, Father, thank you. Hyperactive children, hyperactive. And is a boy hyperactive? Please um, don't use that word again on your child in the name of Jesus. You speak life. And, Father, do not want you to be talking about this with your friends, um, especially when they are around because there's so much power in your thank. So please be watchful of what you say. And I deliver this message with all humility. Please, in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. Thank you, Lord. We plead the blood of Jesus over everyone with chest infection, severe cough. We plead the blood, the precious blood of Jesus, the blood is clouded than the blood of Abel. Yes, Father, thank you, Jesus. We give you praise. We adore you. Oh, thank you for healing. Thank you, Abba. Thank you in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. And Mommy Sophia, we thank God so much for your life. Father says that you are made whole. And Father says that whom he set free is free indeed. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, you are made whole. In the name of Jesus. And Father wants you to speak life. And Father said he has gone ahead. You know that prayer that you always say for your 
your son. Father said, it's done. It is done. For your son. We give you praise, Lord. We adore you because you're good, you're kind. In the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Father. Father, take all the glory, take all the honor. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Thank you Lord. Sister Abigail, always to answer. We thank God so much for your life. God, we should bless you for joining. God is so good. He is an awesome God. Father says, What the enemy meant for evil, he's standing around for your good. He's standing around for your good. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Okay. Oh gosh, look at the time. The time has gone really, really fast. It's gone really quick. I had to apologize for that. Like we're going to worship um, the Lord one song and then we're going to um, hear what the Lord has got for us. Thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Sis, you're made whole. You're made whole, sis. Father reveals to redeem. So receive it. In the name of Jesus, sister, you're made whole. You know, the Lord reveals to, to, to redeem. So just believe you're made whole in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. And the so the song says, Father is the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. He changes not. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, now without you, Father, we thank you. Oh, yeah, good to sorry. In Jesus' name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Pastor Adline, good evening. Please, I hand over to you. God bless you. I do apologize. God bless you, Sister Lina. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for being such a vessel, a wonderful vessel for the master's use. God bless you. Thank you so much, dear sisters. God richly bless you. We thank God for this evening, for giving us yet another opportunity for us to seek him to seek him and to sit at his feet and to hear him speak to us. Tonight, we trust that he will send forth his word and he will heal us of every disease, every illness, every weakness, every situation in our bodies, in our marriages, in our finances, in our careers, no matter what any sister is going through, it is our expectation that the word of God is potent enough. The word of God is mighty. The word of God is powerful and the word of God will heal. The word will deliver. The word will set us free in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We are grateful unto you. The Bible says that unto you shall the gathering of the saints be. If we gather here tonight, we gather here because of you. We desire you. We want to incline our ears to your word. We are saying, Father, speak to us. Lord, speak to us. That is why we have come, not to expect not to bring forth problems, but to receive of you, to hear you speak to us in the name of Jesus. Do what only you can do in this place and take the glory in the name of Jesus. Tonight, I pray, let every eye be opened into spiritual truth. Let every ear be opened into spiritual truth in the name of Jesus. Grant unto us your word in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Sisters, just begin to thank God. Thank God for what he's done in your life. Thank God for what he's doing 
and thank him for what he's about to do. Begin to count your blessings and name them one by one. He deserves it. He deserves it. Grant him, bring forth to him an attitude of gratitude tonight. Express your gratitude to him. Appreciate him. What has he done in your life? Think through, just think through and begin to say thank you. Speak it out to him. Appreciate him. Oh, come, let us adore him. He deserves it. Begin to thank him right now. Father, we say thank you. We thank you. We thank you for who you are. We thank you for your grace and your mercy. We thank you for your goodness and your sovereignty. We thank you, Lord, for the many testimonies that we hear day in and day out. We look at our lives, our very existence. We thank you. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you, Father, for family and friends. We thank you even for the breath that we breathe. We say thank you. We don't take any of these things for granted. We thank you for Jesus Christ, our Lord and our personal Savior. We thank you for his precious blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary. We thank you for the spirit of God that has been made available to us, who quickens our mortal bodies, heals us, teaches us, fills us, and guides us us. We are grateful. Yes, Lord, we thank you for the gift of all of these sisters whom you've brought together into your kingdom. You've caused us to walk in love, in unity, in friendship, and to be family. We are grateful. We don't take for granted at all. Tonight, we say thank you. Tonight, when we gather here like this, Lord, we are gathering to hear your word. We are gathering to receive of you, for we have come to the understanding that our Father sent forth his word and healed our diseases. You delivered us from distractions and it was all through the sending forth of your word. Tonight, I pray, may sisters receive your word. May we hear your word in the mighty name of Jesus. Please speak to us. Have your way with us in the name of Jesus. We are grateful unto you. We don't take for granted what you are doing in our midst. Have your way. Just take control in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Sisters, we want to stand in the gap. We want to stand in prayer. We will probably look at the parable of the sower. But before we get there, there's this awesome scripture in Luke 5.15. Luke 5.15. I want us to receive this word. Ponder over it. Ponder over it and make the word your own. Begin to process this word, Luke 5.15. I'm reading from the Amplified Version. The Bible says that, but the news about him was spreading further and large crowds kept gathering to hear him and to be healed of their illnesses. NIV says, yet the news about him spread all the more so that Crowds of people came to hear him and to be healed of their sicknesses. Beloved in Christ, what happened? There was a gathering. They all came to Jesus to do what? They came to hear him. So not just to listen, to listen and to hear, to listen and to hear. And then what is the resulting effect? And to be healed of their sicknesses, to be healed of their illnesses, to be healed of their diseases. Beloved in Christ, the crowd did not gather to speak to him their problems. They did not come to tell Jesus what they are going through. They did not come to queue in a long line and say that, Jesus, this is what I'm experiencing in my body. This is what I'm experiencing in my marriage. This is what is happening to my finances. Jesus, listen to me. Listen to me. I need to speak to Jesus. Jesus, listen, listen. This is what I'm going through. You don't understand. I'm experiencing an itch here and a pain there. I'm experiencing a headache here and I'm experiencing sorrow there and a traumatic situation here here and there. Jesus, listen, no. The Bible says uh, that the crowd, they gathered to him to hear him so that the priority this evening is that I want to hear you, Lord. The priority this evening is that, Lord, please speak to me. Give me a word in season. Hearing you is more important than me pouring out problems to you because I have come to understand that there is power in the spoken word. There is power in utterance. No wonder in the beginning, no wonder in general, 
Genesis chapter 3, when the serpent appeared in the first marriage, he only came to speak. That's all. He didn't come to bite them. He didn't come to spew poison on them, venom, snake venom. He didn't come to do any of that. He only came to speak a counter word. He only wanted that which he was saying to be heard because there is power in the word. Tonight we are standing in the gap. Tonight we want the word of God. We want to hear what our father is saying concerning us. Enough is enough of what we are saying. Sometimes even in expressing the problems, we establish it. Sometimes even in expressing or describing the situation, we begin to come in agreement with the situation. We begin to come in alignment with the situation. We start to say, the doctor said this and this. They be we begin to decree cancers and all sorts of problems. God forbid. We begin to establish some things as we speak. But we are learning from Luke 5.15 that when the crowds gathered, they all gathered for one purpose, just to come and sit down and listen to the Christ, just to come and receive the word of the Lord. For when the word comes forth from God, that word comes with power. That word comes with deliverance. That word comes with healing. That word lifts up the burdens. That word sets the people free. Beloved in Christ tonight, as we are standing in the gap, you guys are muted. That's awesome. Just begin to receive from the Lord what he's saying. May all of us hear, enough is enough. Sometimes we do one directional prayers and sometimes we talk so much. But what about the hearing? The Bible says, hear ye, O Israel. The Lord your God is one Lord. Jesus wants us to understand that the hearing is critical. Time and time again, we gather. On Mondays, we gather. And Tuesdays, we gather. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we gather. We share and we listen and we listen. But how much of the word have you heard? How much of the word have you personalized? Thy word have I hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you. Thy word have I hidden in my heart that I might not speak in error. How much of the word have we put on the inside of us? The Bible says uh, nobody should say, no one living in Zion should say I'm sick. Isaiah 33, 24. Have we heard that word? Has the word become flesh? Has the word matured on the inside of us? Has the word become real? How much of the logos have you received? How much of the rima have you received? Ono kasa in Framampoyedin, when he speaks, even the stormy weathers are still. This kind God, when he speaks, the winds and the waves obey him. All of creation bows down to the word. No wonder in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. Sisters, the word must be received. And the word must be heard. And the word must be lift, lived out. Beloved in Christ tonight, may we receive the word from the Lord concerning every peculiar situation any sister has. He knows already. He knows the situation. What we need is the word. Man shall not live by bread alone. Sometimes we are hungry for bread, but it says we don't live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. He said healing is like bread for the children, but we don't live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Tonight we are praying, let there be a release of the word of the Lord. Let there be a release of the word of the Lord. I sit back and I cast my mind back to the beginning and I realize when he first created man, he gave man the word. When he first created man, he gave man the word. Beloved in Christ, he didn't give man a pickaxe. He didn't give man some construction equipment. All man needed was the word. He gave man the word and he expected man to abide by the word that has been given. For anything other than the word will be chaos. Tonight, let there be a release of the word. Sisters, as you here you shall be healed as you hear you shall be healed in the name of jesus the sisters i have seen attacks have come forth especially this week last week 
all sort of attacks and it has all been in the direction of a counter word. Sisters that are doing well suddenly had a word. Sister marriages that are going well suddenly a strange word. Certain words are being released into the atmosphere and people are hearing these words. Sometimes it can be a word that has diagnosed a situation in, you, in, your, in your body. It can be a word that has just spoken something strange happening in the marriage. It can be a word that is speaking something strange in your finances or in the economy. It is a strange word. Beloved in Christ tonight, every tongue that has risen against you in judgment, you shall condemn it. Condemn it in the name of Jesus. We come against strange utterances. We come against things that we have heard that have become our belief systems. Sometimes even the word of God. So we know, we know, I know by the stripes I'm healed, by the stripes I'm healed. What have you done with the word that you claim you know is that word truly hidden in your heart is it really your belief system do you believe the word have you accepted the word has the word been made flesh if you believe the word it will work for you if you will hold on to the word you will operate in peace you will operate in joy you will not shift to the left nor to the right you will not be double-minded and unstable you will be steadfast immovable unshakable for the word of god is living and active for the word of god is sure ever faithful ever sure for heaven and earth will pass for flowers and grass will pass and fade but the word of god will never fail beloved in christ tonight let there be a release of the word the crowds gathered to hear him and to be healed of their sicknesses. Rahan dele yamakonda shaanda. Mante dele de makonde shehente. Yes, Lord, we gather here to hear, to hear you, to hear your word because your word, it shapes us. Your word impacts us. Your word increases our faith. Your word judges my thoughts and my intentions. Your word is able to separate the soul and the spirit. Yes, Lord, when we hear your word, we are helped. When we hear your word, we are healed. When we hear your word, we are strengthened in the name of Jesus. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Every solution anyone is seeking, the answer is in Jesus the Christ. The answer is in the word of God. In the name of Jesus. Tonight we have not come to speak. We are only coming to hear. In the name of Jesus. The healing is not in the speaking of the problems, but the healing is in the hearing of the word. The word that comes forth must be accepted. It must be received. It must be embraced. In fact, it must be conceived. Open up your womb tonight to receive the word. Reke and be it unto me according to thy word. Reandele yama onda. No word of God shall ever fall to the ground. No word of God shall ever fail. No word of God shall ever disappoint. Mante de 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 makonda shahanta. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise. Lord, we give you the glory. You have sent forth your word and you have healed us of our diseases. In the mighty name of Jesus. Proverbs 4, 20 to 23. My child, give attention to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart, for they are life to those who find it, and health, for they are life to those who find it, and health to all their flesh. Keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it springs the issues of life. Beloved in Christ, begin to pray with this as a prayer point. The Lord from today, may I give attention to your words, for it is in your word that healing flows. 
It is in your word that healing flows. It is in hearing your word that my faith grows. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Sometimes I want to listen to something else. Sometimes I want to go elsewhere and have a different discussion. But Lord, forgive me. You said, pay attention to my words. It is in that very word that you will be set free. It is in that very word that you will be helped. Pay attention. Lord, I pray that from today, may we pay attention to your words. Many are those who say, can you imagine what she told me? Can you imagine what she said to me and what he said to me? And because of that, some say I will never forget. And they have been crippled by strange words. Tonight we say, God forbid, let everyone that has been crippled by a strange utterance rise up in strength tonight, even as the word of God comes forth to strengthen you. In the name of Jesus, as you make a decision to incline your ears to the word of God, to pay attention to the word of God, to prioritize the word of God above anything else. Oh, how, oh, how I wish Adam prioritized the word of God. God above the word of Eve. May we prioritize the word of God above all else. So we walk in strength. So we become a blessing to ourselves and to those around us. So we walk in divine healing. I pray in the name of Jesus. May the body of Christ be greatly helped as we incline our ears to his word. I pray, oh Father, in the name of Jesus, that the manifest presence of the action of your word be coming flesh in our lives. Let it be a testimony to the world that indeed the word is quick and powerful and living and active in the name of Jesus, sharper than a double-edged sword in the mighty name of Jesus. Daughters, we are praying that we will pay attention to his word. What have you been paying attention to lately? Some of you have paid attention to your lab report. You have paid attention to the pain in your side or somewhere. You've paid attention to something you are feeling but beloved in Christ the Lord wants all our attention to be fixed on his word in the name of Jesus the word of God is saying my daughters open your ears to my sayings what I have said begin to get familiar with it know it hold it get intimate with it become one with my word in the name of Jesus he said, don't let it escape from your sight. He said, don't let it depart from your eyes. Stay in the word. Focus on the word. Fix your eyes on Jesus. He said that these words that I'm speaking, he said they are life to those who find it. Beloved in Christ, you cannot find what you are, you are not searching for. You cannot find that which you are not seeking. Beloved in Christ, the Lord wants us to seek him out. Seek him in the word and look Locate him in the word. You will find him in the word. He said it is healing and health to all their flesh, not to part of the flesh, to your bones, to your bone marrow, to your skin, to the blood vessels that are on the inside of you, to your mind, to your brain, to your heart, your liver, your lungs, your kidney, your spinal cord, every part of your being, your feet, your hands, your fingernails, your eyes, your lips, every part of your being. He said, when you find his word, it becomes healing and health to all of your flesh, both healing and health. Do you see how powerful it is? The word heals you and the word becomes the permanency of your health in the name of Jesus. He said, guard your heart with all diligence for out of it flows the issues of life. Beloved in Christ, your heart must be guarded. How can we guard the heart? Keep it away from bitterness and keep it away from offense. Keep it away from jealousy. Keep it away from suspicion. Keep it away from from doubt, keep it away from unfaithfulness, keep it away from fear, guard it by the word, guard your heart with the word, thy word have I hidden in my heart, that I may not sin against you, Lord I thank you, I thank you for what you are ministering to us tonight, I thank you for the inclination of every ear to your word, Holy Spirit speak to us, Holy Spirit speak to us tonight, 
Father, speak, for thy daughter hear it. Randele Yamakunda Shanda. Master, speak, for thy daughter hear it. Randele Yamakuri Shendele Yababa Anda. We are waiting for thy gracious word. We are longing, Lord, for your voice. Randele Yamakunda. Your word says, My sheep, they know my voice. They hear me. They follow me. A stranger's voice, they will not follow. Father, forgive us, for we have listened to the stranger's voice. We have worried over a strange utterance. We have wept over a strange utterance. We have responded to the stranger's voice. But tonight, our understanding is that it's all about our father's voice. Our father's voice is priority above all other voices. Our father's word is priority above all. Speak, Lord. Speak, Lord. For your daughters are listening. Speak, Lord. Speak, Lord. Speak, Lord. The word in season. Word in season. There is a sister in this place. She has been seeking you, Lord, to hear a word concerning her marriage. Speak, Lord, directly to her heart. Let her hear you with the hearing of the heart. Let her receive the word and walk in alignment to the word that you are giving to her tonight. There is a sister here who has been seeking you in the area of her finances, her career. She doesn't know what to do. But tonight, you are the all-knowing God. You are the one who guides us. Speak, Lord, directly to her heart. Let the hearing of the heart perceive you. Let the hearing of the heart receive of you tonight in the name of Jesus. There are sisters here that have battled one thing or the other in their health. But tonight, let there be a release of a word specific and peculiar to their situation. Let them perceive it of their heart. Let the heart be sensitive, Lord, to their spirit, to receive your voice, to come in alignment and come in agreement with that which you have spoken. In the name of Jesus and the word that you have sent forth, is the word that heals tonight. You sent forth your word and you healed our diseases. The Lord says to tell you that by the stripes that his son Jesus bore on the cross of Calvary, you have been healed. He said many of you have listened to this and heard it and taken it as a cliche. But he said, no, it is the living word that word is living and active. It is very quick and extremely powerful to them that will hear, to them that will not just listen and leave it, but to hear, receive of it, embrace it, conceive of it. He says, I sent forth my word and I healed your diseases and I delivered you from distraction. Why are you afraid? Why are you downcast? Why won't you put your hope in God? Raandele yamakunda shahanta. Mantede de 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 makunde she ende. Reke handele yama anda. Indeed, the words that Jesus speaks, they are spirit and life. And it is the spirit of God himself that testifies with our spirit that we are children of God. Tonight, the spirit of God is testifying with your spirit that you are healed. Children of God are healed. Children of God are made whole. Children of God walk in faith. Children of God are like Jesus. Children of God walk in power. Children of God walk in truth. Children of God are anointed by God and they go about doing good. Children of God are granted the wisdom of God. They are given the understanding from God. They are given knowledge from God. 
and they are filled with reverential fear of God. The Holy Spirit tonight testifies with our spirit that we are children of God, that we are healed, that we are made whole, that we have been helped, that we don't go by sight, but that we go by faith, that the word he has spoken is true and we are alive. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Indeed, it is the spirit who gives life. Tonight, life is released in this place by the spirit of God. Life is released in this place by the spirit of God. Flowing through your blood by the blood of Jesus, life is being released. Life is re being released by the spirit of God and quickening your mortal bodies. Tonight, as the word of God is flooding you and filling you, you are experiencing the life of God on the inside of you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Beloved in Christ, when you read the parable of the soul, when you read the parable of the sower, it talks about, it says that there are seeds, some of the seeds fell on rocky ground. Let me read it to you. He says, <laughs> the meaning of the parable of the sower, Matthew 13 from 18 to 23. Whenever anyone hears the message about the kingdom and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches it away snatches away what was planted in their heart. This is the seed that was sown along the path. It means that the person heard the message, but he didn't understand it. And so the enemy took it away before the message could heal them or help them. May the Lord give us understanding that whenever we hear the word of God, whenever the word is released, we understand, we embrace, we accept it by the power of the Holy Spirit. And the word becomes rooted and established in our heart. He also says that the seed falling on rocky ground refers to someone who hears the word of God and at once receives it with joy. But since they have no roots, they last only a short time. When trouble or persecution comes, because of the word, they quickly fall away. Beloved in Christ, sometimes you, are, you just receive the word. I remember when my cousin received the word concerning the healing of, of cancer in the breast. And she rejoiced. It was awesome. And later, the story turned around and it looked as if trouble and persecution had come. But beloved in Christ, we couldn't afford to give up and stop there. And by the grace of God, he turned it around for good. And the word that he originally released to her did not fail. May I encourage somebody in this house, whatever word the Lord has released to you concerning your household, concerning your body, your temple, your health, concerning your situation, whatever the situation may be, that word does not expire. That word does not fail. The word of God talks about the seed that fell among thorns, refers to someone who hears the word, but the worries of this life and the deceitfulness of wealth choke the word, making it unfruitful. Oh, Father, we are praying that anytime we hear the word, May we not mix it with consents of this world, worries, anxieties, and deception, Lord. May we simply mix the word we hear with faith, that it may bear fruit in the name of Jesus. Beloved in Christ, the last one, he says, but the seed that falls on good soil refers to someone who hears the word and understands it. He understands it. This is the one who produces a crop yielding a hundred, sixty, 
and 30 times what was sown. Beloved in Christ, I came here to tell you that day in, day out, as we press on in the word, and as you hear the word and faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God, your healing is manifesting 30-fold, 60-fold, and 100% whole. Beloved in Christ, we don't hear the word and go back the same and hear the word and go back the same. There is a manifestation that is happening on the inside of us. In your temple, in this body, in your temple, there is fruitfulness that is taking place as a result of the word that you are receiving into your heart. The word that you are accepting to be true is transforming your marriage, your finances, your mindset, every part of you, your parenting, your health by 30-fold, 60-fold, and a hundredfold. You don't stop. You keep pressing on and pushing forth in the word that as you and I incline our ears to the word, there is a manifestation that is taking place on the inside of us, a fruitfulness that is happening. Be fruitful and multiply the benediction spoken to us in the beginning is being manifested in and through us as we accept and align to the word. Yes, Lord, we thank you. We thank you for the word of God that has been sent forth. We thank you, Father, that you have given us the written word. And we thank you that you confirm it also with the spoken word. We thank you for the presence of the Holy Spirit who guides us into all truth. We thank you that the words you speak to us are spirit and life. We thank you, Lord, that the word you give us grants unto us abundant life from now, moving even unto eternal life. We thank you that your word heals us. Your word satisfies us. Your word shapes us. Your word convicts us. Your word counsels us. Your word strengthens us. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. Thank you for the fruitfulness that is taking place on the inside of each sister tonight. Thank you for the fruitfulness that is taking place in the various homes tonight. Thank you for the hearts that are fertile, that are receiving of you tonight. Thank you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Beloved in Christ, we want to pray one last prayer before we take Holy Communion. It's from Luke 8, 15. He says that, he says, as for, this is the amplified version, as for the seed, he says, as for that seed in the good soil, these are the ones who have heard the word with a good and noble heart and hold on to it tightly and bear fruit with patience. Beloved in Christ, the Lord wants us to have a good and a noble heart. The Lord wants us to have patient endurance because there is something working on the inside of us by the power of the Holy Spirit through the word of God that keeps coming forth on a day in and day out basis. He wants us to bear fruit with patience. He doesn't want us to give up so quick, give up easily, no. But patiently wait for the word of God to manifest and bear fruit. Beloved in Christ, we want to pray against dullness of heart. We want to pray against hardened hearts. We want to pray against hearts that have become so hard. Sometimes hardness of heart is based on what you have been seeing. Instead of inclining your eyes and your ears to the word, we have looked at things we call fact factual. And it has become the belief system that has hardened the heart. Sometimes the heart is hardened with unbelief or hardened with doubt or offense. May every heart be guarded with all diligence. May every heart be cleansed of all unrighteousness from today. May every heart be softened in order to receive God's word whenever that seed is planted. Matthew 13, 15, he said, for this people's heart has become callous. He said, it has grown hard. They hardly hear with their ears. They have closed their eyes. Otherwise, they might see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their hearts and turn and I will heal them. In the name of Jesus, Father, any eye that is close to you, any ears that has shut 
itself to you. Any heart that has become hardened such that healing cannot take place. We ask for mercy in the name of Jesus. We ask for mercy in the name of Jesus. Father, have mercy. Have mercy and merited favor. We don't even deserve it, but please have mercy. We have drawn boldly to the throne of grace tonight, and it is our expectation that we shall obtain grace and mercy to help us in this time of need. At this time, our hearts cry to you is that, let every eye be open to spiritual truths and let every ear be open to spiritual truth and let every heart be softened towards you that our hearts will be good and noble ground good and noble soil for the seed of the word to be planted so that we will be fruitful in our health we will be fruitful in our understanding of you we will be fruitful in every good work in multiple folds for your glory father heal every heart heal every heart any heart that has been hardened by offense have mercy and heal any heart that has been hardened by anger or any of those destructive emotional responses lord have mercy and heal the hearts as hearts are being healed in this place tonight as hearts are being healed in this place tonight, it becomes good and fertile soil for the word of God to be planted, to be rooted, grounded, and established in the name of Jesus. I see fruitfulness happening. I see fruitfulness happening in individual lives. I see fruitfulness happening in individual lives. That thing that has been a recurring problem for so long. Tonight, as the Lord, by the power of the Holy Spirit, has healed every heart. From tonight, we are seeing fruitfulness in the area of your health. We are seeing improvement 30-fold, 60-fold, 100-fold in the name of Jesus. You will come back to testify. We are seeing fruitfulness in the area of your marriage. You are gaining understanding like no other into spiritual things. You are allowing the word of God to take root inside of your heart. You are allowing the spirit of God to be able to teach you, to be able to counsel you, to be able to help you and correct you. I see sisters that are able to discern which voice to accept and which voice to reject. They are able to draw the line and see this is a stranger's voice. This is the voice of the accuser. This is the voice of the tempter. Ah, this is the voice I reject. The Bible says every tongue that rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn it. I see sisters condemning the voice of the enemy and accepting the voice of the Holy Spirit. I see sisters getting stronger in their walk with God. I see sisters getting stronger in their bodies, in their temple, in the area of healing. I see sisters living a life of divine health. In the name of Jesus, I see sisters walking in strength like no other because their hearts have been healed and made whole. I see you guarding that heart with all diligence, knowing that out of it springs the issues of life. I see sisters making a choice to live an unoffendable life. You can't offend them again. No, no, no. They don't succumb to offense. I see sisters who have understood spiritual things. They have understood. They know the devices of the enemy. Therefore, they can no longer be deceived by him. They know what to say no to and what to say yes to. I see sisters with a posture of inclination. Incline your ears to my word. I see them bowing in reverence. Inclination suggests a bow. I see sisters bowing in reverence, accepting the word of God. I see sisters coming in alignment like never before. I see changes in their homes. I see changes in the way they live their lives. I see sisters that have been made strong in their spirit. The same thing that used to put them down does not put them down anymore. I see that their appetites have changed. They are hungry and thirsty after righteousness. And the Lord is filling them because that is his word. 
the word does not return void. It accomplishes the purpose for which he sent it. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Sisters are feeding through their hearing. They are feeding through their sight. And they are feeding on the word. Lord, we thank you. We praise you. Thank you, Lord, for what you have done here in this place. Thank you, Lord, that eyes have been opened, ears have been opened, and hearts have been healed. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give you praise. We give you glory. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. Healing has taken place as a result of your word. We give you praise. We give you glory. Father, be thou forever exalted. Be thou forever magnified in this place. Thank you that sisters have been helped in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear sisters, please take your communion elements, just hold them up in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for these communion elements. We present them to you. We humbly ask that you bless and sanctify them in the name of Jesus. As we take them in, we take them in by faith that this is the body and the blood of Jesus. We understand that this is a serious spiritual engagement. We have inclined our ears to your word. We have understood that this is so serious that even in Genesis chapter 18, you found it necessary to cause Melchizedek to bring bread and wine. You manifested the crucifixion of Jesus even in the book of Genesis at that time. By presenting bread and wine to Abraham, you were speaking of the coming of the Christ and the fact that resurrect, he will be crucified and he will be resurrected. Beloved in Christ, these are deep spiritual things the Lord wants us to engage. He found it necessary for even Abraham to partake of the Holy Communion. You want to partake of the body and the blood of Jesus, and you want to hear that you are one with him. You are a child of God and sickness is not your portion. You don't accept it. There is nothing wrong with your eyesight. There is nothing wrong with your mind, your body. Every part of you is made whole. Beloved in Christ, receive this by faith, even as you take this communion element. Father, we thank you. We thank you for sanctifying it. This is the body and the blood of Jesus being taken by faith. In Jesus' name, sisters, the body of Jesus, please take it. You break it and you eat it. Father, we are taking in the body and the blood of Jesus. Amen. Sisters, please take the, the, the wine as well. This is the blood. It represents the blood of Jesus. As you take it in, you take in the life of him into your body. Right. We thank God so much. Beloved in Christ, let's just continue in prayer. Father, we are grateful unto you as we have taken in the body and the blood of Jesus. Jesus' body was broken, that we will be put together. I pray right now in the name of Jesus, everybody in this place, our bodies are being put together. Each person's temple, each person's vessel is being put together in the name of Jesus. Jesus' own was broken, split up so that ours will be put together. There was a divine exchange in the realm of the spirit. We believe it. We accept it by faith. Our bodies are made whole. Now, apart from our individual bodies being made together, the, the units, the units, the multiplicative effect of oneness, we are praying that our marital bodies are coming together. All the homes, everyone is coming together in unity. Yes, the marital bodies, the parental bodies, all of us coming together as one. Jesus' body will not be split up again, broken up again and hurt. I pray that any issues that are happening in terms of relational fracases tonight lord let there be a unifying effect of the spirit of god in the name of jesus in this place by means of the holy communion we have taken we are a communion of saints we are together many coming together as one make us one lord even as you are one in the name of jesus i thank you also for the blood of jesus that we have taken in 
it is the blood. It is the blood that is denoting the life of God in each of us, the life of God. Tonight, the Holy Spirit is testifying to our spirit that we are children of God. We are not sick. We cannot be sick. We are not helpless. We are not hopeless. We have the abundant life of God inside of us flowing through our physical veins, our physical capillaries flowing through our members, the life of God. We are in his image and likeness. We are just like him. Thank you, Lord. Every benefit, every benefit, every promise that God has given us concerning our resemblance to him. We appreciate it. We acknowledge it. We accept it. We abide by it. We walk by it tonight in the name of Jesus. I thank you. I speak over every sister in this place, all of our households, our families, our children, everyone connected to us. We are covered by the blood of Jesus, protected on every side by the blood of Jesus. No weapon formed against any of us shall prosper. We are just like God here on this earth. The way Jesus was when he walked on this earth, that's how we are. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen and amen. God richly bless you, sweet sisters. Please, let's go ahead and unmute and share the great. Amen. amen. God richly bless you, Pastor Adlai, for blessing us tonight. We pray that the oil over your life never run dry in the name of Jesus and the virtue that's come out of you that the good Lord will replenish you in the name of Jesus by the path of the good Lord. Do we share the grace please? Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm.